everyone, what's up? This is that lesson today. We're going to show you what is absolute value. Absolute value is the number's distance from zero. So, virtually, so the distance from zero will always be positive. So, so virtually, so the distance from zero, uh, virtually distance, it means a positive number. Virtually, for, for example, I will just take um, minus six. So this, I will just show you the symbols for absolute value first. So these these two lines are the symbols. So, you, so if we want to just say this is absolute, find out the absolute value of six, you can you have to put the, these two lines over it. Even when you actually find greatest to least, I will just explain to you that later. So minus is, so the absolute value of minus six equals to six. So because virtually that's distance from zero. 6 and, and minus 6 will have the same absolute value because of the distance from 0. So, virtually, for more, virtually, that we'll about that later. So, virtually, to explain more about absolute value, I'm going to draw a number line. So, uh, let me just see. Um, wait a second. So, virtually, I'm going to draw a number line. Not really neat, but it will work. So, virtually, so 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I'm going to do the negative side now. 1, 2, minus 1, minus 2, uh, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, uh, negative 6. So, so actually, we're going to actually find out the distance. So, what I'm going to do is uh, just before those jumps. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Five six. So I'm going to do for a point there. So virtually the minus six will have the same absolute value of minus six because see one two three four five six. So and so virtually the so absolute value will have a, a negative number ever false. It will never ever have a negative number since this is the distance from zero. So virtually the next thing I will show you is examples we could use to have. So actually, some examples. So virtually, what well, we can use absolute value. So I will just clean half. So virtually, if you if a problem, usually this is a problem example. Uh, virtually, a problem has uh, virtually, for example, you need order some numbers. So we're gonna start with the uh, two minus two minus I mean two uh, absolute value minus six. Uh, absolute value minus four, and in the order from uh, least to greatest. Virtually, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to actually start with uh, so the so from the least number. So I uh, virtually so the least number here is minus two because this is the absolute value. That means it will be a positive number. But virtually, I will just show you what, what methods to use to show that you actually find that. So my uh, two. So to not get the formula wrong, we I will just show you the way in a few seconds. So two. So you had to put the, you still need had to put an absolute value. So wait a second, that's a mistake. So absolute value, you have a four minus four and absolute value minus six. And it's because originally, because you need to actually ex to not, not get the problem wrong, you had to put those lines. Eventually, you can ex just say so six. So originally, you had to take this as a positive number if you see those lines in the front and back of it. Didn't get confused with one, virtually, because some people write one like that. So, didn't conf get confused with one. Um, this hint. Ah. So, actually, that's all for absolute value. So, virtually, um, absolute value is sometimes useful. It's very useful sometimes, virtually, when you need to find the distance from zero and telling which is greater or least. So, for example, so you can explain, virtually, when using absolute value. So, um, So you can explain you when using absolute value, virtually what you're supposed to do. So for example, uh, virtually, so y of minus, uh, minus six is less than uh, uh, minus four. So actually you can say, um, so my uh, minus six, is, as you can find out the absolute value of these numbers, ratio minus six and minus four, uh, virtually, uh, so are six and four. So virtually, since uh, four um, the absolute value my uh, minus four is closer to zero, so that's why four minus four is greater than, than minus six. Also, there are also other methods to it too, but this um, we do not for that. So it's absolute value. 
So, so this is Krishna Das uh, lesson. So, so today's video by Krishna Das. Uh, watch, so watch my last technology video. Uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel, like the video, and share this video on uh, other friends on the internet for people who gain confusion absolute value. So this is Krishna Das lesson. So thank you for, uh, for watching the lesson. Bye.